Hey there. I know that a lot of you are starting to see in Pinterest when you go to create idea slash video pins, you will see where it says that you only have the ability to add one slide, one page. And I know that some of you are creating them on mobile, but if you're like me, I work on desktop, laptop most of the time, and that just is frustrating to try and transfer the pictures and things like that. So I want to show you today how to create an idea pin in Canva very quickly, very easily, and then transfer it to Pinterest. And so Pinterest, you know, idea pins, they've changed the name to video pins. So you'll hear me use idea pin and video pin interchangeably. Um, they're essentially the same thing, but at the end of this video, I'll also, also show you a trick for using this content that you're about to create that can help things with your profile as well. So this is just a simple template that I have in Canva and I've added some animation to the slides. Um, it, it's very simple, as you can see, not super intricate, not a ton of pages. I have a call to action here at the end. And for purposes of this, I just wanted to show you a simple design. Um, these do not have to be, again, very intricate, very design, heavily designed, things like that. Um, idea pins were not when we were building them on Pinterest. And so I've kind of seen that carrying that through to creating these is working best, at least for now. Of course, that could change. The other thing is, is you can download slides from web stories and just simply pop them into a template like this to use as your idea slash video pin. And I do have a YouTube tutorial on that. Um, but for the sake of this tutorial, I wanted to just kind of show you this. Like I said, I've added some animation made a few slides and i'm going to pop over here to pinterest i'm going to this is if you click to add a pin and this is this is the idea pin section so if we go to create new i'm going to upload what i just created and then i'm just going to copy and paste the information from my blog so copying the title copying the description oh. and then adding the link. And then we'll just choose this as a breakfast recipe. And then also you'll want to add some tags. So you could add cinnamon rolls, pumpkin dessert, pumpkin breakfast. Let's see, that's not on there. Uh, let's see. And you kind of have to play around with this because not every tag that you think may be relevant is on there but let's see thanksgiving it could be a thanksgiving recipe um of course so then i know that a few of you have also asked me how to edit the cover so that kind of the if you want the text to show up you have that on the cover so you just click here click edit cover and then drag it over to choose whatever cover slide you want you can toggle on to publish later or i'm just going to publish this one now and have it upload and then once it uploads, you'll see it. I have noticed that using this format, sometimes what happens is, is it will look very like blown up and, and just kind of look skewed initially. If you click out of it, you go to your profile and then you just click refresh and we click on it, it processes and it shows up a little bit better. So I did want to mention that as that is something that we've seen. So if we're going here to our save tab, and we're clicking pin. This is another way to use this content that you're creating. And essentially you're just re-uploading this as a video pin, which Pinterest has said, you know, idea pins are transitioning to video pins, but there's still kind of that differentiation when you're creating the pin format. So I've seen good results with doing this. You just upload the video. Again, you fill out the information just very quickly. You can definitely change up the description. Um, this is where I talk about in my course about keywording, adding different keywords. So this could be something um, like, let's see. You can see how I'm just changing the keywords out a little bit there to target other keywords. Um, you can also... I can spell today. You can see, and this is a little wonky, I've noticed. You can see here, it's, it's not the greatest feature, but if you can get it to work, let's see here. Yeah, 
So you can see, again, it's very wonky. I've noticed that, I'm sure a lot of you have, but if you can get the tags to work, use a few tags in them. Um, and let's just see here if we can get any of them to work. But you see that you kind of have to click on them to select one. So we could, there you go, pumpkin spice. And you just click on them. Um, but again, if, it, if you can get it to work, it, it's very wonky. And it, I've noticed that the past couple of weeks, it, it, it may or may not work essentially. And then same thing, um, we could put it to a group board. And then I'm going to schedule to publish it next week, a week from today and then we're going to schedule it and then essentially it will upload as a video pin kind of the old video pin format so it's just a good way one you're targeting different keywords you can see how i slightly changed the description but two you're also using these different formats that pinterest wants to see us use and you can see it took me this video took me six minutes. Um, if I wasn't talking through it, the whole process would have taken me about five minutes to do. Um, you know, if you have a more intricate design, of course, it takes longer. But again, the simple designs are what we see working best for these now. So thank you so much.